Alright, welcome to another installment of this series where I talk about books that I read. Um, this one I'm going to be talking about C Sharp 8.0 in a nutshell. If this is something you guys appreciate, or you guys have any books, suggestions of your own, or, or any kind of um, stuff like that, make sure to leave a comment, um, and I will make sure to pick up that book and read it. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, let's start off by mentioning that I understand that C Sharp 9.0 is out, and this book is over 8.0, but uh, there really isn't, uh, you, you know, there isn't a huge uh, difference between versions. Even though there is quite a few things that, that 9.0 has coming out, there is a lot of that stuff that you can kind of learn online. Um, and even if, if you want to pick up the 9.0 version, I would recommend that more than the 8.0. Um, at the point of recording this, the 9.0 version of the book is not out, but the 9.0 version of C Sharp is out, and I've had this book for a little bit, so I would recommend picking up the 9.0 if you can. But also, if you if you can't, then the 8.0 also is, um, you know, it, it, you'll you'll get just about the same things out of it. Uh, most of the things that I am kind of taking away from this are just the subtleties of the language, stuff that I haven't really heard about because I learned a lot of my C Sharp knowledge from videos. And so the things that aren't used super often in game development, I haven't really heard too much about. And so reading through um, a lot of this stuff uh, taught me um, all that stuff. So one of those things actually, just for an example, would be partial classes. I didn't really know. I didn't know those were things at all. And learning about that now, you know, I'm happy I know it, but it is not something that you use very often. Um, you know, the, the reason that I actually picked up this book originally was kind of for a definitive reference. If I ever needed something, if I was ever curious how something worked, I would just plan on looking it up in the book. Um, I really wasn't planning on reading the entire thing, but after reading through, you know, the first few sections, I really started to notice that there is a lot that, um... You know, I know how it works, but I didn't really know the entirety of it. I kind of learned how it worked through videos, but those videos don't teach you everything about that um, that function. You know, one of those examples would be the delegate system. I knew how it worked. I knew how to use delegates, but I did not quite fully understand the creation of your own delegates, you know, what the purpose of that was, why anyone would ever do that. Um, and so getting into the book and reading the entire section about delegates was very very helpful and um you know i'm very happy i went through that and also learning about iterators and enumerators and the full purpose of all that stuff it's all very it, it's all stuff that i already understood how to use but it's good to fully understand why it's in there and uh you know the entire purpose of it so in that regard i very much uh enjoy the book and i'm very happy that i own it now, I'm going to mention this book compared to um, the Game Programming Patterns book that I created and I actually made a video about earlier. Um, you know, the difference between the two, you're going to get a lot more just facts in, in, in this one. You know, this is all just about what is in C Sharp. There is nothing about what makes that thing useful in certain architectures. And um, I mean, I guess sometimes there's a little bit, but it's mostly just about telling you what everything does and why it's in there in, in C Sharp. Um, whereas, you know, other uh, system architecture books are going to teach you uh, practices to use to keep a uh, consistent, good architecture without your program. So this is less of an architecture book, more of just a, um, you know, a, a book to, it more. I mean, I guess on, on the title it says, it's just more of a definitive reference, something to just look back through whenever you want to uh, know more about certain things. All right, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, book suggestions, anything, you know, make sure to leave a comment. Um, also, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like or possibly even subscribing, that would be very nice. We're making a video about this one soon, um, so keep an eye out for that. But until then, um, good luck developing and designing games. Have a good one, guys.